What's going on, everybody? Welcome back to Unhinged Talk. As usual, I'm your host, Patrick Hennessy. Joined tonight by the man, the myth, the legend. Hashtag shut up, Brandon. Brandon Kramer. How we doing tonight, my man? We're doing great. We're doing great. We actually had some Yankee news today. It's about damn time. But before we do get into that, you guys know the drill. Like, comment, subscribe. Help out our channel. Uh, if you guys support us, it means the world to me. So I genuinely appreciate it. Um, but yeah, Yankees news finally today. They they signed someone. We have an acquisition, and that is Jay Bruce, a uh, veteran left-handed slugger. Uh, it's a minor league deal, but I believe if he does make the major league roster, it's like a one-year, one-and-a-half million-dollar contract, I believe. Yeah, so listen, I saw some people, like a handful of people on Twitter and Facebook complaining about this move. I don't know how anybody could be pissed off about a minor league deal for Jay Bruce. I understand he's not the same hitter slash player he, he once was, but I do think that Jay Bruce can provide something to this team that they're currently lacking, and that's a left-handed bat. I like, Bro, I don't know if you're going to agree with me or not, but genuinely, I think if Jay Bruce is healthy in Yankee Stadium, he could probably hit 20 home runs with his eyes closed. So I 1, think this 000%. is a, uh, a solid move, a uh, cheap move for a left-handed bat that could end up paying off big for the Yankees this season. Yeah, he's, uh, my guess is he'll probably end up being more of a bench bat, which is exactly what we need as the Yankees... Gardner's not a bench bat. He's not a bench lefty power bat. Um, the Yankees have been trying to get Jay Bruce for years now, so they finally kind of got they finally got him. And I mean, hey, if he makes the roster and he still can hit. It, you can't have enough like actual veteran lefties. Like you could say, oh, we got Mike Ford. Mike Ford's not a veteran. Jay Bruce mm-hmm. is going to give you quality at bats. If you need to, he can play right field a couple times. Like he can, he has a good arm, so he would. He's exactly what you need as depth. Yeah, I mean, he's not coming off the best season in the world. Uh, last season, he was with the uh, the Phillies. He played 32 games, batted 198 with a 252 on base, and hit six home runs. Uh, listen, it's not your typical year from Jay Bruce. Usually, he'll hit you at least 20 home runs, uh, driving like 80 RBIs, bat like 210, 220. But I-, I think that like the Yankees would love that. Like You're not expecting anything more. And based on how fragile the outfield has been the past couple seasons, you can never have enough outfield depth. So I think it also helps that Bruce, I mean, he's pretty versatile as far as his fielding goes. Like last year, he played uh, a little bit of time at first, a little bit of time in right, a little bit of time in left. So as, I mean, I know a lot of people like to consider him as old. I think we forget he's only what, 32, 33? Yeah, he's not that, he's not that that old. So he's not really that old, but um, I think that maybe he could provide some sort of outfield depth. He's not just necessarily only a DH. Like you mentioned, he did spend some time in the outfield last year. And I think maybe this takes pressure off guys like Mike Ford, who last season, like the Yankees looked at him as being the only left-handed big bat off the bench. So maybe, I don't want to say the Yankees have kind of given up on Ford, but maybe this is just a way of the Yankees saying, okay, let's not have to rely on Ford so heavily off the bench because we saw them have to use Ford um, as a pinch hitter in game five of the ALDS, <sighs> and that was after not having that bat for a month. So maybe they don't want to put him in tough positions like that again, you know? Mm-hmm. Exactly. I mean, it's also someone Ford can learn from. I mean, he's a veteran hitter. He's been an all-star um, with those Reds teams. So, I mean, it's exactly what you want out of a minor league deal. You just got to hope that he can stay healthy, get it on the field. And you just got to hope that this means that they're not going to bring back Gardner because we've been saying this for years. They need lefty power bats. Jay Bruce is the type of guy that can come off the bench and give you a quality at bat. He's Kendrys Kendry Morales, but better Yeah, in, in what agree. the Yankees wanted him for. Um, much cheaper deal. It's going to give you a quality at bat. It's just going to be interesting to see if he makes the major league team um, – how he can do not playing every day because he's obviously not going to play every day. He's going to be a bench guy, but you're just going to see if he can do that well, maybe be like a veteran kind of pres- presence for those young hitters and see what he can do. But it's it, if people who hate this signing, like <laughs> put on your thinking caps, it's a very, yeah. very smart, no risk, low risk or a uh, high reward signing. Yeah, I would agree. And that's kind of like what the definition of the Yankees offseason has been so far. Um, they've really just been going for these low risk guys that can pay off big uh, this season. However, um, like you mentioned before, but I don't know what this means for Brett Gardner because in my mind, I'm assuming that this kind of spells the end for Brett Gardner in the Bronx. But in my gut, I'm still thinking I, I maybe because I'm just scarred from all these past off seasons when I think Brett Gardner is actually gone and then the Yankees <laughs> always find a way to resign him. What do you think? Do, do you think like Brett Gardner is actually done? Because st- I'm still, confused I still think he's done. Point. I think he's done. Yeah, I think I still think he's done because I just don't yeah. see it. It's possible because, 
like if you sign Jay Bruce, like you, you can't have any expectations of bringing back Brett Gardner because if you bring back Brett, you essentially have no use for Jay Bruce. No pun intended. Yeah, I no mean, reason. that was kind of a rhyme there, but <laughs> you you know what I mean. Like, there's yeah. no use for Bruce. <laughs> If yeah, you do bring back Gardner. That should be the yeah, title list. No use for Bruce. It it probably should. But yeah, I think if we're weighing the options, like obviously Brett Gardner didn't have that bad of a season last year. But I think looking at the the current formation of this Yankees team, I think Jay Bruce is a perfect fit. Um, maybe even over Brett Gardner, only because 100%. I don't think he's going to be someone who's taking playing time away from Clint Frazier or even a Mike Talkman at that point. I think Mike Talkman will still get his fair share of at-bats, even with Bruce uh, potentially on the roster. So listen, I-, I think this is an awesome deal for the Yankees, and while it may spell the end for Brett Gardner's time in the Bronx, there is a slim possibility that they still resign him. I don't know. Uh, I guess we'll have to wait and see as far as that goes. But uh, that is going to wrap things up for us today. Appreciate everyone for stopping by. Uh, Like I said earlier, be sure to like, comment, subscribe. It helps us out a bunch. I appreciate everyone who supports the channel. And we go live every night, YouTube, Facebook, and Twitter, 9 p.m. Talk about Yankees baseball. Talk about all kinds of MLB stuff. Yeah, it's going to wrap things up, and we will see you guys next time. Peace.